What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully each and every one of you guys is having a great and amazing day. I know probably a little bit of a weird location to start the video. I'm in the back of the Mustang. And that means one thing. Um, we're messing with our fueling system today. We do have the new triple pump setup in. I went ahead and sent that out to uh, four innovations um, already. I did go ahead and record me taking it out. With that being said, we have access to the fuel tank and it's pretty damn empty. So what we're gonna do right now is go ahead and fill up the tank with the can from right here since it's easy access. <laughs> makes things so much easier. Also, it's raining right now, so I don't know if we're gonna take the car out. All right guys, here we have the triple pump hat. Um, turns out to be pretty clean setup. Everything's labeled 285, 285, and a 274 for the third pump. So, now we just gotta put the gasket on and uh, Drop it in. I know, probably not the most ideal tool, but hey, it worked. Just finishing up these connections. Snug it up real good. Don't over tighten it. Pass all these electrical connections through the hat and I don't see any leaks so we should be good to go all right guys so it appears that everything's good haven't quite got the first startup yet so we're gonna do that in just a minute here um, with that being said big shout out to four for getting me taken care of um, I haven't wired in the third pump yet but we're gonna do that in a couple of days when we wire in the hop switch I'm gonna do that over at a shop and get a vacuum block and everything else wired in at the same time. Um, with that being said, we are gonna get a cold start on this. I'm not gonna put the camera outside because, you know, kind of pouring down rain and we're probably gonna drive it, make sure everything is good. And uh, we'll see from there. Let's get this cold start on. to get jumpers on it if it doesn't start sometime soon because it's been sitting for a while. I think this is the one. So a little bit of an update on what's going on with the car. Ever since installing the new pumps, the car has been running a lot better. The short-term fuel trims and long-term fuel trims are a lot better than what they used to be. Um, we're actually close to zero now, like negative two to negative five on the long-term fuel trims, and the short-term fuel trims generally stay around zero. So much, much better than what they used to be. Uh, with that being said, I haven't installed the third pump yet. Or, the pump's installed, I just haven't wired it in, so there's literally no power going to it right now. Um, haven't done the hob switch, haven't done the vacuum block, so over the weekend, hopefully, I'll be getting that done and getting the uh, third pump wired in so 
Um, so essentially what the hop switch does, if you're not familiar with it, as soon as the car hits boost, the hop switch activates. So it's vacuum activated. Once, once we hit five pounds of boost, the third pump will kick on and uh, we'll be having extra fuel. It's more of a safety precaution more than anything. I don't think I needed the third pump, especially with these new pumps on, but more fuel is better than not enough fuel. Just keep that in mind. All right, so I, I personally didn't actually finish up the car myself. I got the car running and then um, obviously I had my daughter and I really didn't have time to finish it. So I brought it to a shop, had them mount up the vacuum block, wire up the third pump, um, wire in the hob switch. But before we go over all of that, um, let me just show you the car. It looks absolutely amazing right now. It's been raining, so it's not the cleanest. I'm actually loading a, a revision right now. So I might as well go ahead and show you under the hood. So I kept the set up pretty simple. Just added this um, vacuum block with some padding behind it to help with vibration. Um, we got the hob switch here. We're running the vacuum source from the manifold all the way to the vacuum block. Um, obviously vacuum block to the hob switch. This activates at uh, five, five pounds of boost, which will turn on the third pump. And then vacuum block to regulator, um, pretty simple. Once this tune's all loaded, I'll go ahead and get a startup of the car, go ahead and get a drive in and uh, see how it does. Now the weather in California has been pretty wild. I have never seen anything like this. Um, literally, it's been raining for three months now. And uh, I really can't do anything with the car. Um, it's been historic rain and naturally I'm on a drag radio and I risk taking it out every single time that I take it out. And, uh, Look at this. And that's been every single fucking day. And it just needs to stop. So I can drive my damn car. That's all I want. Little update. It's finally not raining. It's finally dry out. And we have been approved for a 60 to 130 poll so we can get some data logging for Ortiz performance. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a rich. Maybe a little lean still, I don't know. Either way, we're gonna get the tune adjusted from there and finally we'll be able to get some more runs in. guys I apologize about if there's any sun that's causing a weird reflection um, it's pretty sunny out right now as you saw the 60 to 130 pass mid four second pass pretty impressive however we are still running lean I don't know if the fuel pressure is still dropping that's an issue that Ortiz performance is going to have to look into and uh, we can further diagnose it from there. I do have three pumps running all the time so I don't know if it's tune related at this point or if it's a problem with my fuel system. Uh, with that being said, the pumps are brand new. Literally all three pumps brand new. Um, so I can't see it being a problem with the fuel system. I'm getting a fuel delivery code so it's a little concerning to me. Either way, the car is still running pretty damn fast. Um, it's pulling timing because it's running lean um, so we're gonna just hold off until we hear back from Ortiz performance and uh, I guess from there we'll determine 
what we can do and uh, further diagnose it and fix the issue if there is one with the car. And hopefully it's just something in the tune that he can add more fuel into the car. I know there's been so many issues regarding fuel with this car within the tune. It's just been a nightmare to tune because of the cam, I'm assuming. Uh, with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on what could potentially be the issue. We rolled out the fuel pumps because we went ahead and replaced those. Could they still be a problem? Could I have got a faulty fuel pump? Absolutely. I popped a couple of fuses, so one of those fuel pumps could be shorted out in some way. I haven't pulled the fuel pumps out to inspect them. I probably should. Um, with that being said, guys, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. The car is going places. The car is going to just keep getting faster and we're going to continue making amazing content. Until next time, guys, I'm checking out.